So how soon does he get ice cream sandwich? Pardon? How soon can he get ice cream sandwich? I don't have an ETA for you. So is the Qualcomm uh, 8660? Uh, I believe it is. The uh, dual core 1.5 gigahertz Scorpion Snapdragon. Is that the HDMI output? Um, with an MHL adapter. So it's uh, the U micro the, USB? So micro USB at the top. Plug that in your, your MHL adapter to that. You see the ports on the side here? So all you have is volume keys here, your 3.5 jack, your power lock button, and then your um, micro USB port. And then uh, other than that, pretty pretty sleek looking device. Not a whole lot of... What is the bitrate of the 720p uh, ESPN stream? That I don't know. That I don't know. I don't know the answer. Can to you output question. the HD to an HD TV with HD MHL? I would I would imagine if you're streaming it, it would it would you're streaming at 720p, so it'll show up at 720p on your TV. Does it use your uh, bandwidth allowance per month, or is it Pardon? free? If you, if you use the ESPN HD, is it going to take care of some of your? Well, you're using your 4G network, or if you're connected to your Wi-Fi network. So if you have like three, three gigabyte or five gigabyte per month, you're using some of that. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Which is I always highly re recommended if you are in range of a Wi-Fi access point to save that data when you need it when you're not near a Wi-Fi access point. Nice. Are they different colors? All the same? No, all the same. These, these are just uh, at, at some point in February there might be a few of these available at Verizon Wireless. Then you'll see when you plug in your phone, one of those clocks will pop up on the screen. Oh, so it's like... It's, it's interactive. It's interactive. Oh, to an extent. Okay. <laughs> So how does it compare the screen to a Super AMOLED HD? Well, the difference in technology is, is that AMOLED displays use uh, Pentile technology, where this is using RGB real stripe. Um, as a matter of fact, I can give you a, a very good demonstration of seeing the real stripes. If you uh, look with your eye through this, you'll actually see on the white screen. You'll, if you look very closely on there, I don't know if you'll see it on the camera, but you'll see it with yeah. the naked eye, definitely. Yeah, I, um, can, I can, I can see some, uh, I can see the, the details. If you the... need to focus, you might need to focus. But you'll, did you see the stripes? Yeah. The IPS display. Yes. Yeah, it shows up even in the camera. Are you so, seeing it in the camera? Yeah. The red, blue, green. Yeah. yeah. So. So it means that you basically get more you're going to get better color, uh, more, more realistic color from what you, have, uh, you know, what you're shooting and things like that, or what you're viewing. Whereas when you look at an AMOLED display, a lot of the color, especially if you go to Google.com on an AMOLED Plus display, you get that kind of that blue washout a little bit because it's it's not giving you the true colors. But LG does in OLED as well, right? But we do have we do have we have an uh, o, uh, you know an AMOLED display on the market here in the U.S. As a matter of fact, with another carrier. But you know you know this is definitely I think uh, steps above an AMOLED display as far as HD quality, as far as true color, the whole nine. Because as AMOLED technology comes to the market, LCD also improves a lot. Oh yeah, absolutely. Everything improves with time. And. Uh, the mass manufacturing is higher for the LCD, there are more manufacturing plants for that, so right. the price is probably lower there. Uh, well, you know, and, and for us, you know, we, we, you know, LG has their own display, you know, LG display, so a lot of that stuff is, is, is done internally. How about bigger than 4.5 inch? Yeah. Not announced. Not, not, you know, this is, this is the biggest we got right now. So what's the next step, 1080p? Not quite possibly. <laughs> I'm not at liberty to say. You might have to ask Dr. On. 4.5 inch AH IPS display. Okay. And it has Gorilla Glass. When, do you know what the timeline is for your, um, ice cream sandwich? I do not have an ETA on ice cream sandwich. Yeah. So is this, uh, what is this back? It's just like a, almost kind of like a carbon fiber look, but it's, it's a premium plastic. Is it possible to change the battery? Oh yeah, yeah. The battery's removable. Uh, there will be an extended battery made available for it if people need it. So you're getting a 1830 milliamp battery, which for a phone like this is more than what you is is perfect. Is only uh, CDMA LTE? It's not worldwide. No, it's not global. It's 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 CDMA LTE. There's another version. Well, the the Optimus LTE is our global variant of this handset. Uh, the Nitro is a similar variant that's available on AT&T. What's the battery like? Uh, it's it's an 1830 milliamp battery. Obviously, with an Android, battery life varies from phone to phone, but uh, this will definitely give you superior battery life from, from our previous devices that we launched last year. Simply because of the display technology, the larger battery, 
Is it the same screen? Oh, can we get all the sides? Just, yeah. yeah. Is it the same screen as LG No. No, this is a advanced high, uh, high performance in plane switching display. But it does also. Uh, the the, the, rev, the revolu This is a 1280 by 720p. The revolution was only 480, uh, I think 800 by 480. So you're getting true HD. Uh, we have one at uh, we have one at another carrier right now. The Nitro. Yeah. It was also a HD display. Flip it a little bit so we can see the. Uh, yeah. With that? The Nitro has exactly the same screen. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Spectrum is truly a super phone with all the features consumers expect from a high end device. It's got a 1.5 gigahertz dual core processor. It comes out of the box with Android 2.3 gingerbread, upgradable to ice cream sandwich. It's got an 8 megapixel rear facing camera, 1.3 megapixel front facing camera, and can record video in 1080p HD. And of course, it runs on Verizon's 4G LTE network. We think these specs make for a great device, but what we really think is exciting and want to focus on is why does the screen <coughs> make this a great viewing experience for consumers? So let's talk about it. This device has a 4.5 inch true HD IPS display. Many people in this room, you follow TV technology closely, you know about the superiority of IPS. You also know that not all HD screens are created equal. This is the same technology used in our ISN TVs now brought to a mobile phone. But let's talk about why this matters for consumers. First, Spectrum has a 1280 by 720 resolution in a 4.5 inch display. That gives an eye popping 329 pixels per inch. Crystal clear, crisp images and text. It also has a 16 by nine aspect ratio so you get a true HD widescreen viewing experience. Pure HD entertainment. Remember that first time that you saw sports in HD on a television? You remember that, right? Well, the other day, I was on set with LG watching ESPN video on the Spectrum, and I had that same I am never going back moment. Hey, it makes sense that LG, the leader in mobile phones, teamed up with ESPN to bring you a device that is exclusively preloaded with the ESPN Score Center app playing HD video. That's right, monster dunks, bone crushing hits, breaking news, and if you are so inclined, me and beautiful HD. Come on, what else do you need? Only the LG Spectrum can get you mobile ESPN video in HD. Welcome to the new world of mobile entertainment. Exciting to work. We're really bringing your A game. We're going to get back to what we do best tough ground and pound football. You've never seen this. You've also never seen the LG Spectrum with the 720p HD display. It's exclusively preloaded with the Score Center app with HD video and only on Verizon's 4G LTE network. ESPN Score Center, movies, and more in HD on the LG Spectrum.